Another problem is that they do not address the random blood group types like O negative and O positive. So basically what our model does is try to tackle some of these problems. So, so as we saw the existing we saw the existing system drawbacks. So we can address this. Here comes an opportunity for InstaBlood as our team to address this issue. So how we are going to address? So what we are going to uh, do is we are going to connect as many as donors, potential donors to our existing our database. We are going to collect their data and uh, register them into as a donor in our system. And uh, we'll carry out a efficient uh, model in which we can tackle the the ex existing system drawbacks. They are uh, Red Cross is in a particular loss this year, annually. So what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to create an interactive model between a rare blood requester and a donor. So we are creating a communi uh, communication channel between them. And uh, also our app will go to track the impact of donor's blood donation. Means if I am donating my blood, I will see actual the impact, who is benefited from it. So what is our solution? So we are coming to the solution. So our solution is B2B. C. So what we are going to do is, uh, this is our InstaBlood app, we are going to target a particular local hospital, as of now we are thinking about uh, Lovell General Hospital. So what they are going to uh, do is, as he suggested that Red Cross is carrying the random drives, random blood drives. What we are going to do is, we are creating a model which will say as the geolocations of the potential donors in particular zone and we are going to target this zone and over here we are going to create our drives. So in this position we can create a and in, in this way we can benefit and we can create a large amount of data of blood. Also this, this is our second help B2C. What we are going to do, uh, do is we are going to if suppose a medical emergency occurs, a requester will uh, request a blood to the hospital a particular and uh, what our app is going to do is within a vicinity of 10 miles we are going to see uh, the potential donors over there. If they are available we can uh, uh, address them and we can call them for blood donations. In this way we can address the issue of the, suppose I am needing a blood and uh, its uh, blood bank is 6 hours away where it is in Boston, suppose. So uh, if I find anyone in local uh, level who is ready to donate the blood, so I can just contact him and bring in and we are just dealing the, we are just uh, escaping the delay time. So in this way, so our resources are, initially we are in the, we already have an app developed on this. Sorry, time is up. Okay, so now it's uh, QA time. So I had a question. I think you were just about to get to it. So hmm. you have an app. My question was, how are your potential donors are gonna find this app? Yeah, so um, we are going to create an ad campaign. Mm -hmm. I was about to say that. Yeah. Uh, we are going to create an ad campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, uh, but as particular now, mm -hmm. we are going to target UMass level students. Okay. Under a roof, we are going to get a potential donors and they are healthy ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will get a large amount of blood uh, as the young people tend to donate more blood. Yes. So we are going to create an awareness among them. The, the scarcity we are facing in US. Mm -hmm. So we have, to, we have to make this people, uh, so we are starting from the, basically we are starting from the campuses now. Mm -hmm. And slowly and gradually we will start at county level and state level. Okay. So this is our model. Okay. So good, uh, good job presenting. You talked about um, storing and communicating um, data that's associated with uh, an individual. So you're going to run into HIPAA compliance challenges. Where is this data stored? Yeah. And how are you going to get around that? Good point. You are saying this. We we will run into a legal issue if that. But uh, as I'm going to explain you this. See, our our app is going to target the our client will be local hospitals. Hospitals already have the patient details, which they are not sharing with any other applications. So this will be maintained at hospital level. Our app has nothing to do with it. Our model will be just presented on the data present in the local hospital. So we are not having any data. So there's nothing stored? Not, not stored in our app. Everything is in the local hospital's database. So they are our client, basically. So nothing is going to be at uh, InstaBlood app. We are just providing a solution. Data will be shared at their locations only. That was my question. Yeah, that's a good time. That's a good answer. Nice go. Can I ask a follow-up question? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So, are are you gonna? Does the local hospital pay you for this? App yeah, we are going to charge per user basis or per drive basis. We are going to charge them. If they are conducting a drive at a level, suppose we are conducting it at, at South Campus, so we are going to charge them per user uh, particular things. 
per user $5 we are going to charge them. Per yeah, user yeah. that's successful or uh, per if, uh, people on your list? If you are providing them our data, our data, our one trick, suppose uh, what we are going to do is, we are going to share this app with all the students in the campus. So those go, people are going to register into our app. So in this way we are getting a register count. So we are going to share this count with the local hospital and each count will be costing $5 to the hospital. So that's, that is our business model. And if that is a one part and in the parallel part we are what, uh, if suppose a local, local hospital wants to conduct a uh, blood drive at particular location. So at that basis we will charge them a whole amount. The monetary amount they are getting from the, the monetary blood repository they are getting from particular location, we are going to target that. Can I ask another follow-up question? Sure. So I think in your business plan you mentioned at some point that you wanted to partner with the Red Cross. Is, is there a reason you wouldn't do that up front? Because they're already out there, they're already reaching out to donors. And yeah, so the, what they are losing is they are conducting a random drives. Mm -hmm. They are not having particular uh, strategy to target a particular location as we stated over here. Okay. So they are uh, conducting a random drive. So we can suggest them to uh, do a, a tactical drive. Yeah. Uh, where we can find potential donors over there. Yeah, I mean, so they already Red Cross in be, uh, is in this field for uh, so many years now. They have. So they have a huge amount they, of data. They do. They have a huge amount of data. They have brand equity. People know and trust them. So yeah. I, I like what you're doing, but I think this, you should explore doing it at the same time because even though maybe they're a little bit random, you're going to get a bigger user capture, and I think yeah. that's a, a good thing to do. It's already built. Yeah. yeah, I so think they would welcome this kind of technology. Like I you said, you'll be able to see it's going to help them. Yeah, we are also that is the one part, and we are also connecting our our own data, yeah. which can be processed. So in future, suppose we are not getting a good amount of data, yeah. we will be collaborating with them exactly. to share the data and the technology. Because they themselves, like go to the hospitals and yeah. then the hospitals tell them that which areas to target. So yeah. basically, we are going to the hospitals yeah. ourselves, so we could function parallelly. Yeah, so we could work. Because they're an established trusted brand. Yeah. I mean, if you can tap on. At the end, we are all heading to the Nobel Clause. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. exactly. So. You have to sign up all these local hospitals, yeah, in order to be profitable. So you have to get re relationships with with Lowell General, and then all the way, and then it keep expanding yeah, expand over yes. time. Yeah. Is there any are there any competitors in this space? Yeah, as we say, Red Cross is already doing it. No, no, I mean, like, is there any other apps or any type of data? Mo because the way I understand it is, your app is just a portal. Mm. All the data is kept on whatever software the hospitals are running. Yeah. And you'll integrate with whatever software applications they're running, mm. Epic or whatever programs <laughs> that they're using internally. Or they're just going to. The, the data that they have is just is, is all their data, you're just feeding them names. No, we're actually are getting people to sign up on our app yeah. and then get their data. Yeah. And then we're going to give this data to the hospitals so that they can in turn reach out directly to those people. So, so you don't maintain their data though? They, yeah. We the maintenance part will be done, as, but done by us, our app, but at the, at the client end, not at our end. So <coughs> per, per client, suppose we are targeting Lowell General Hospital or mm -hmm. there is something ABC Hospitals. This uh, for uh, Lowell General Hospital we are going to target the, some other data and this will be some other data. In future if they want, if they have a mutual understanding, they can collaborate the data. Okay. Getting over. So you have the names and the people but that's all you have. Yeah. You don't have any medical records? No, no medical. Either. Medical history will be it's stored at gotcha. right. hospital level. Mm -hmm. yeah. That has nothing to do with us. So I think that's a good point. Can I follow up on? So imagine if I'm a donor, yeah. right? You wouldn't want my blood because during the seventies I just polluted it so savagely. Like, assume that I was like. Maybe you blood. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> a long tail to some of those chemicals. Would you? Would, am I entering my um, blood type? Am I entering do I, that I had? Tattoos? Am I entering that I try? like? Is there any personal data? Because you keep saying our data, but then you're kind of pushing back, saying we don't have to worry about HIPAA, and I'm nervous that you're you there could be a challenge here, and it's not an insurmountable challenge, but it, it just seems you have to think about it. Yeah. So what I would like to highlight over is our app is creating a social awareness. We are bringing people into our app. We are not concerned with the blood type of their. Okay. They are carrying the diseases. What they are carrying. We are not making that. We are just creating a social awareness among the people that you should do donate the blood. And and uh, the point which you are saying that the tattoos are all those things, that will be taken care at the local hospital. Okay. If they are willing to take the blood of a particular type of nothing. Or, 
We're just patient. like taking the data, like we're asking the user if he would like to be a potential donor, and then mm -hmm. if he does want to do that, then the local hospital will like contact. So him. what's the incentive for me as a user? Because there's eight billion apps out there now, right? Yeah. So why would it, no? I mean, I'm just yeah, being realistic because yeah. I know I'm lazy by nature when it comes to all this stuff. Why would I sign up for this? Are you going to be marketing? How would I even know you yeah. exist? So, so our marketing, strategy, I was coming to but we. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Was, good. Yeah. So the <laughs> marketing strategy will good. be like we'll be giving uh, some monetary benefits to the donors. If suppose today you're donating, fifth of April you're donating someone a blood. In future, suppose you or your family requires a blood group or something like that. Our app is going to give them benefits that they will be uh, given some kind of uh, discounts in the blood. If suppose I'm requiring a hundred mg of blood, so I will be giving them discount of something rupees, uh, something dollars. Mm -hmm. So that will be our strategy, and we are also going to create a social badges so that they can share on the social media. Mm -hmm. uh, we can also give them a, a, a gift vouchers, Amazon gift voucher or something, maybe mm -hmm. in. Because I think that's going to be your hardest thing. So Red is, Cross already does users. something like that. Like if you donate, then they give you five dollar. I think Amazon gift cards. Yeah. So if we potentially like in the future join up with them, so then the Red Cross could provide you with the donation cards or something. And then yeah, that donation card can be used I mean, for your future. Right now we don't have anything to back us up, so we can't actually. Right, right, right. Anything. That's what I'm saying. So I mean, so, starting at the university level makes sense because yeah. these students will have probably yeah. try to help. Yeah. Yeah. You as an organization, but once you get outside this this comfort exactly. zone, it's it's a lot yeah. harder I mean, we're to attract to, users. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to start with students, and then in turn they'll like make the uh, they'll ask the, their families to do, get involved in all of this, sure. and then grow into a community. So we're trying to start like that, but we don't have any particular monetary benefits. We can like help them get it in the future. Like uh, if they donate blood right now, then they can get some uh, benefits or something in the future if they require blood or if they require some treatment in the future. Is there government agencies or funding groups that could potentially help you guys? I don't, I don't, I'm not familiar with this industry as a, as yeah, a whole. Yeah, so we already are in touch with the law and general hospitals. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. With them. yeah. They are a general body. Yeah. So they have the, already have the data regarding this field. Mm -hmm. So maybe in future or maybe in one or two months, we'll be having a full-fledged app which will be so we are, we are soon thinking of launching a blood drive at our campus mm -hmm. oh, I just have one more question um, so you mentioned I think that the price that you're going to charge the hospitals for access to this portal or the data is five dollars how did you come up with that price? That is actually not. That our cost actually, we are taking a cost, uh, our server expenditure, okay. our resources required for that, right. uh, what, what are licenses of the software we are using, so everything mm -hmm. we are taking into consideration mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. bring it to okay. right. Thank you. Thank you guys. Great job.